everyone, welcome along to the first Cooking and Crack Cook Along With Me. So for anybody that doesn't know me, I'm Anya Boyle from Good Food Nutrition. So um, I also run the Fabulous Foodies um, closed Facebook group um, as part of Good Food Nutrition. So basically um, it is just for the people who love food and who love a bit of fun to go with it. So tonight um, I, I decided to do these... Um, cook alongs, very short cook alongs, because people have been saying to me when I'm putting up recipes and tips, look, I don't know what to do with this, Anya. Can you give me some ideas? So I would be constantly posting up things, but I thought to myself, well, why not just do very, very short cook along for people? Um, you can join in for 10 or 15 minutes, maybe once or twice a week. And um, yeah, have a bit of crack and um, yeah, get to make something nice. So, I'll launch straight in because I don't want to keep this too long. So, I'm aiming tonight, I'm a bit of a chatterbox, as most people know. <coughs> Excuse me, a bit of a chatterbox, but I have my eye on the time. So, I will keep it to 15 minutes max. And, as I say, tonight is really just an introduction and um, to sort of get a feel for what you what, what are looking for as well from it. So... Um, also as well is um, for the next one I will have a new mic there so for anybody that thinks the sound is maybe slightly poor by the time we do the next one the sound will be much much better and hopefully the visual will be too but anyway let's get going anyway so tonight um, I decided is what is the one thing a lot of people struggle with they love um, easy breakfast in the morning okay I love an easy breakfast as well you want to get up you want to get out if the kids to get out to school in the morning the last thing you want to be thinking about is what do I want so tonight we're going to do two really really simple little um, uh, easy prepped breakfast dishes okay there's quite a healthy slant on it but for anybody that does know me from previous workshops and also just on my own page as well I tend to sort of repeat a lot of the um, good nutrients that I put in as well. So I'm going to run through a few of the things we're going to be making tonight and then I'm also going to explain to you why I tend to use them and sort of what the health benefits as well are. So that way hopefully you'll think to yourself well actually maybe I will buy those weird um, ingredients that only keeps talking about. So first thing we're going to do tonight is I'm going to show you how to make my nice homemade granola. Okay this is a bit of a winner with clients as well. It is one of those where it takes you, you will see, about 10 minutes to make but then you can pop it into a big kilner jar, just little clip top jars, and it will keep for a week, two weeks, it will keep for up to a month. But I can guarantee it doesn't last that long. It's one of, it's a great one, my daughter loves it as well. Um, it's a great one because you literally can flavour it up whatever way you like. And then once you've made the basic batch of it, I will show you kind of how to load on really good nutritious stuff, again, to just bulk up your breakfast in the morning. So, first thing is... And as you will see with me, everything is very simple, rough and ready as well. I don't sort of believe in sort of prepping over the top because that's not how we live our lives. So, nice big bowl to mix your stuff in. We're going to start off, um, I have some nice organic oats. Now, I couldn't get my hands on gluten-free oats that time. So, if you can, you of course can use gluten-free oats for this as well. You can also use buckwheat flakes, quinoa flakes as well. So, again, they're both gluten-free as well. But again, for your bog standard, I picked up lovely organic oats and lentils. You can't go wrong with that. Now, for the granola as well, as I don't tend to weigh, I'm a bit sort of chefy in that everything just goes in the bowl. So these, the size of my measurement is one cup. So we say we're going to go in with maybe three or four cups, okay? You'll know after the first time of making it yourself whether or not you want a little bit more maple syrup, whether or not you want a little bit less, you'll know yourself, okay? So don't doubt yourself. Just kind of a pinch of this and a pinch of that works grand. So... In we go with about three, we'll say I'll go in with four because I'll make enough for the week. About four cups of your oats, okay? And as I say, you can use your buckwheat oats or your quinoa flakes or buckwheat flakes or your quinoa flakes as well. So into that, we're going to start to put our dry ingredients and then we'll pop our wet ingredients in at the end. And one thing I forgot to say is preheat your oven to 180 for this, okay? Because we're going to cook it for about six minutes and then for about another four minutes. So you have your plain oats here, okay? We're also going to go in, I have a bag of just mixed seeds, or if you prefer, you can just go in with pumpkin seeds. Okay, so just going to pop in probably about 100 grams of them, so about half a bag, okay? And again, this is a fantastic way of getting the goodness into children. 
And while this is cooking in the oven, I'll explain um, the nu nutritional content of all the ingredients I use. It's just that I want to make sure that obviously I stick to my 15 minutes. So, you have our oats and our mixed seeds in there. We're going to go in with a little mixture of some nuts. So I have some lovely whole almonds. So we're just going to take maybe a handful of these as well. Out onto your chopping board, if you need to chop some of them. I've also got some lovely walnuts as well. So again, walnuts are absolutely amazing for the brain. Hence why they actually, if you have a look at a walnut, they actually look like little brain, but they are amazing. Packed full of vitamin E as well, ladies, as we get a bit older for your skin as well. So a little handful of them as well. And then a handful of Brazil nuts as well. So Brazil nuts are one of those uh, nuts that you really need very little of them. And the goodness in them, they're packed full of a mineral called selenium. And selenium, for us ladies as well, as you get to a certain age, over 40, is, is vital for our thyroid as well, okay? So you only need about two or three of them a day, but make them part of your snack as well, say for your mid-morning, mid-afternoon snack. So I'm just going to very quickly just chop down, I'm not going to chop the almonds, I like them whole, but I'm just going to chop down some of the walnuts. Or you can buy, to be honest with you, if time is not on your side, just buy yourself the broken walnuts because they're actually cheaper as well. So have a look out for them. So just give them all a little bit of a mix, a little bit of a chop. Okay, just rough and ready. Don't get too hung up on having to chop really chefy. Okay, so in there we're going to go in with our oats and our seeds. And then we're just going to slightly chop our Brazil nuts down because rather than getting a whole Brazil nut, you're going to get little bits of them as well. Okay, so you probably want to chop them in about thirds. And that should do you. So I would recommend that you treat yourself and get yourself a really, one really good large chef knife. Okay, it really does become your best friend in the kitchen as well. So a good carving knife, um, a good boning knife and a very good um, chef's knife as well. So you're probably talking about a six or eight inch knife. So in goes our Brazil nuts there. Now, with your hands, get stuck in there and just give everything a really good mix around. And I'm actually going to dump the rest of my seeds in, actually. So we'll use them up tonight. So again, just everything a really, really good mix around. <clears throat> you can use a whisk, but I think it's just go straight in with the hands. Okay? And that's it. Now, into that, we're going to go with our wet ingredients. So our wet ingredients, I have some gorgeous organic um, olive oil. Buy the best you can, but just be aware that obviously when you cook with the oil, you are destroying some of the goodness in it as well, okay? So we probably want, I'll measure this one out. So we probably want about three tablespoons. And this one is just a lovely Spanish one. So again, it's the flavor is going to come through on them as well. Now, it's three tablespoons of that. And then I'm going to go in with, for the whole batch of this, which is probably a good maybe um, 700, 800 grams, I'm going to go in with two tablespoons of maple syrup, pure maple syrup or honey. Do not use your good raw local honey for this because then once you're cooking with it, you're going to end up destroying the goodness out of it. So keep that for drizzling on the top. Now, into that, just give it a good mix around just to make sure it kind of emulsifies the, um, the syrup with the oil. And then once that's in, just pour it all over your mix. Get every last bit of goodness in there. You can as well, if you fancy, is you can actually um, put a little bit of vanilla extract in there as well. It's gorgeous in there. And sometimes as well, I put in a little, it sounds a bit weird, but a little bit of grated lemon. And it just gives it a lovely bit of zing. Um, I've made it before as well with pecan nuts. Pecan nuts are absolutely gorgeous in it. So now give everything really, really good mix around just with your spatula. And you just want it all coated. So I'm actually going to go straight in with the hands just to make sure that all the nuts and the seeds and everything are coated lovely. Okay, and then once this is all mixed together, we're going to pop it onto a tray and we're going to stick it in a preheated oven for probably about six minutes. Now, you can see how quickly that comes together. 
and it's just all as you see there guys just all mixed around looking absolutely gorgeous i'm going to pop that onto the tray now and get it into the oven so again just onto a big baking tray spread it all out and keep your eye on this in the oven because because of the maple syrup and the nuts, it can burn, okay? So just keep your eye on it, but set it for about six minutes. And your timer on your oven is your best friend, so use it. Now, I'm gonna get on to the second breakfast, and while I'm doing that, I'll explain through the ingredients we're using, okay? So it's fast and furious here tonight, but, does let you get back to your own lives as well. Okay, so get yourself uh, just a normal little Kilner jar. I have one of these little drinky ones that the kids use, okay? And what we're gonna do is, I'm just gonna grab my ingredients from here, and then I'm gonna run through everything we're gonna use. Okay, so we're gonna start off with our chia seeds, okay? Now our chia seeds are a fabulous source of protein, okay? So they're a great one to think about first thing in the morning. So let me just grab a spoon. Okay, great source of plant protein, but also as well a really rich source of um, our essential fatty acids, primarily our omega-3s, okay? So in that family, you're gonna have your um, flax seed, your linseed, your chia seeds in there, okay? The omega fats in them, they are hugely anti-inflammatory, but they also really support and nourish the nervous system as well, okay? And for, again, for us ladies of certain age, um, your omega-3s are vital for hormonal balance as well. So sort of anyone who's maybe perimenopausal or menopausal is, try to get plenty of your omega fats in there as well. Okay, so we're gonna go in with about two tablespoons of our chia seeds, so two nice big tablespoons, okay? And I tend to just keep a massive jar of chia seeds in the fridge at all times. Now, into that, I'm also gonna go one tablespoon of my flaxseed and linseed mix, okay? If you have time, you can grind your own, otherwise is you can buy them ready ground. Obviously, they're gonna be fresher if you do grind your own, but it's better to have the ground ones than nothing at all. Okay, so we're just gonna give that a bit of a mix around into your jar. And now we're gonna to start to load up the goodness in here and the flavors as well. Okay, so some of the normal ones I would use is, I would tend to use a little bit of um, what's called, it's organic raw cacao powder. Okay, so it's not cocoa powder, it's obviously a much raw version of it as well. Now the reason that I tend to use a good bit of this is because it is so rich in so many minerals. It's rich in iron, obviously for um, plenty of energy. Um, it's really rich in magnesium, which obviously helps with your sleep, which helps reduce your stress levels, which helps the relaxation of your muscles as well. So it's absolutely brilliant. It's also um, a great source of zinc as well. So during this time of the year, it is um, cold, it's wet, it's fluy season as well. So these are the little things that you can pop into your diet every day. And it means you don't always have to be taking supplements as well, which is very important. You don't want to be relying on them either. So we're just going to go in with a little sort of a hint of it. It is very strong. And then we're also going to go in with the cacao nibs as well. Now the cacao nibs just give this a little bit of bite and a little bit of texture. So that is why I like them. So in we're gonna go with maybe about one tablespoon. They're very bitter, but gosh, they are lovely. In with them, okay. And the cacao nibs, again, very similar to the cacao with your magnesium, with your zinc as well. So absolutely brilliant for you. Now, into this as well, I'm gonna put this fantastic product or herb. It's called maca, okay. Now I get these, they're organic made in little, so they're fantastic value. So maca is one of those little sort of wonder herbs where um, it's absolutely full of B vitamins. So it's going to really, really help with the production of energy in the body. It also helps you to sleep. It's great for sort of if you're feeling a bit wired during the day, get the maca into you as well. It's also a really good one for raising um, the good mood levels as well, the serotonin in the body as well. So again, you just, rather than taking some sort of supplement, always look to see if you can add it in through food. So we're just going to put in about one tablespoon, or one teaspoon, there's probably plenty of that. 
So you can see how easy it is to really build on a very simple dish in the morning and to make it like a real little powerhouse. Now, what else did I want to put in there? I've got my chia seeds and all my other seeds as well. Okay, give everything a good mix around. So it's really handy, these bags of seeds and stuff like that, keep them in your fridge at all times and then they're there. And if they're in the fridge, you know you'll choose them as well. So again, you just want to make sure everything is well mixed around, okay? And then I'm going to go in with a little bit of desiccated coconut because I love the taste of it. So in we're going to go with one tablespoon. Actually, we'll go in with two. Let's spoil ourselves. So again, give that all a good mix around. And then tonight, um, I'm going to just show you a different type of milk to use. Obviously, you can go in with your own milk, whichever milk you use, normal milk. But I love the plant milk. So I'm going in with one called Plenish. And it's an organic almond unsweetened. It's really, really nice. But you can obviously use your oat milk. You can use your cashew, your hazelnut. They're all the weird and wonderful ones out there. So we're talking probably about 180 mils to 200 mils, okay? So probably about half this jar. And then we're going to give it all a really good stir. Now, this will look really watery tonight, but I can guarantee you in the morning, it is really, really solid. Because um, chia seeds, when you pop them into liquid, they really start to expand. So um, they thicken everything as well. So if you're putting them in a smoothie or whatever, just be aware that after a couple of minutes, it will thicken up considerably. Now, just make sure everything is well mixed at the bottom and that the cacao and everything is mixed so you're not kind of getting lumps of anything. Okay. Done. So we're gonna pop a, we're gonna pop a lid on that one and we're gonna stick it into the fridge and then tomorrow, for your breakfast, you can serve it with either some fresh berries or, you know, sliced pear, sliced apple, whatever you want. But I happened earlier on to make some of my lovely fruit compote, okay? It's just basically frozen fruit, warmed on the, on the pan for a couple of minutes, and then uh, blitzed with some chia seeds as well. So it's almost like a bit of a fruit, um, I'll show you there, guys. It's almost like a bit of a fruit jam. But um, the kids love it and it's great. It just means getting a bit more of the dark berries into them, which is packed full of antioxidants as well, okay? So obviously you're not gonna see this thickened up, but you have to imagine what it's gonna be like tomorrow morning. So you can serve that all thickened with some of your fruit compote. Now, I'm just gonna check on my granola in the oven. So give me one second. Okay, so we're going to give that a bit of a shake around and that is done. It's literally 10 minutes and that is done. So I'm going to serve that up into a little bit of a bowl. Now obviously when you're having it, it's going to be stone cold. So what you would do is you would just leave that to cool in the pan on the, uh, on the cooker and give it a little while to cool, maybe about half an hour. And then you can spoon it again into your kiln or jars as well and serve it up in the morning. So I will give you an idea how, if I can find my bowl, how I would serve mine. So just a little spoonful of it, with plenty of the lovely nuts. Okay, so you've all the gorgeous walnuts there as well. Let's take this out of the way. And then I absolutely love, as I said, coconut. So what I have is I have some gorgeous sort of organic coconut shards. So I'll pop this to the front. So again, just some lovely little shards over the top. And then I also have some gorgeous fermented uh, kefir yogurt. Okay, so it's just natural yogurt that's fermented as well, but you can buy it. You can make it yourself or you can buy it. And again, what you're doing is you're just, again, bulking up and adding more nutrients as well. So great source of probiotics here for a healthy gut as well. So again, just one little spoonful of this onto the side. And then a little spoonful of your compote. And you can see how quickly 
that you would have a breakfast ready first thing in the morning. So what you can do as well is, sometimes what I do is if I'm heading out in the car, is I layer the, um, the granola up. So I kind of have about half of a jar full of granola, then I will have some of the yogurt, or I use coconut yogurt as well, on top of it as well, and then a little bit of the fruit sauce as well, and just screw the lid on it, take it with you in the car, and you can be eating while you're sitting in traffic. So just to recap over a couple of little things there, I've run over slightly, guys, but we'll get better at this. Um, so some of the stuff we've used tonight, even things like your oats, you know, thinking about oats in the morning doesn't always have to be porridge. Your oats is a fantastic source of fibre as well for you, so for your digestive tract as well, and for feeding the good bacteria in your gut as well. But it's also a great source of B vitamins. So first thing in the morning, the B vitamins is sort of what powers your engine in the body for your energy as well. And uh, yeah, get your seeds in there every day, as I said, your pumpkin seeds, your sunflower seeds, your flax seeds, any type of cheese seeds as well, all of them packed full of your omega-3 fatty acids as well, a great source of protein as well. So guys, that's it. Um, hope you enjoyed that tonight. Um, hope that gives you an idea sort of for some quick and easy breakfast for during the week as well. Um, if anybody's any questions afterwards, just pop me a message up on Facebook as well and I will do my best to answer it. And um, yes, I'm hoping the next one should be on this Saturday, but I will post it up tomorrow once I know for sure. And then going forward, I am thinking perhaps a daytime one, maybe a Sunday prep um, cook along or a Saturday prep cook along. And that means is that it's sort of like 20 minutes to half an hour where we prep stuff that you can pop in the freezer for during the week. So thanks a million guys for tuning in. Really appreciate it. And uh, have a great evening and I will talk to you all soon. Thanks now. Bye.